Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the strumstick. In this video I'm going to explain to you the difference between the two tunings G and D. So let's get started. A strumstick is tuned G, D, G. That's in G tuning. G, D, G. So it's a G, a G, a golf, the string nearest your chin, Delta, the string in the middle, and golf, the string or two strings nearest the floor. So golf, delta, golf. Now the reason we, sh we tune this way is to make a, say, a, we'll call it a power chord. It's what they call it on guitar. You need the first, the fifth to make a power chord. If you were playing a melodic G, you would need to add the B in, but we won't worry about that for the minute. This is about the tuning. So they are tuned G, D, G, or golf, delta, golf. So the string nearest the ceiling or your chin is G, delta in the middle, golf, or two golf strings nearest the floor. If you were to tune to D, you'd be doing D, a, D, delta, alpha, delta. Again, delta, the string nearest the ceiling, alpha, the string in the middle, and delta, the strings, or string nearest the floor. Again, first, fifth, octave. First, fifth, octave. So when you strum on a G or a D tuned dulcimer or strum stick, you get a rock chord. It's basically a power chord. It's what we use in rock music if you play guitar and it's a simplified chord. In the case of D, if you were to play it melodically, you would need to have the third note in. So we don't bother with that on strum sticks. We have G, D, G, D, A, D. So an open chord gives you either a G major chord or a D major chord. So to break that down a little more, if you were to play the chords on a G tuned dulcimer, whatever chords they be would be one of these, highlighted in blue. But if you were to tune your dulcimer to D major or D, these would be the chords there and they would just substitute. So an open chord, that means no frets are being pressed on a G tuned dulcimer produces a G, on the D tuned dulcimer, it produces a D. I'll go for that again using phonetic alphabet. If you were on a golf tuned dulcimer, an open strings will produce a G chord. On a delta tuned dulcimer, it will produce a D chord. So if you had two dulcimer strum sticks, you can keep one in G tuning, one in D, and you just change the chord. So if you play it in G, on the golf tuned dulcimer, you'll be playing chords in the key of golf, G major. If you were a D tuned dulcimer, it would be in the key of D. So just think of it this way. Open chord would be a G on a golf tuned dulcimer. An open chord on a D would be a D chord. And that really is the difference between the tunings and all of these apply. So say you were playing a song with G, C and D in it on golf tuning, G, C, D. If you retuned your dulcimer to D, delta, those chords will become delta, golf, alpha. Delta, golf, alpha. If you were in G tuning, they'd be golf, Charlie, delta. So that's roughly how the tunings work. Now, it is handy if you have two dulcimers, because if you tune them both to these tunings, you can play another tunings on dulcimers. I have posted videos on that. Just search Blackpool Music School dulcimer or strumstick playing in different keys, and it will show you. But if you have both, you can pretty much play in most of the keys you'll probably need. I am talking rock pop and country songs here, or stuff you hear on the radio. Jazz songs and stuff from the 1920s, 1930s use more complicated chords. But when we're talking pop, rock, folk and country songs, you only need two dulcimers tuned this way, and you can pretty much play in any key you wish. So again, if you tune to golf, and you were to play a G, a C and a D, on your D-tuned dulcimer, they will become a D, 
a G and an A. And it would be exactly the same fingering. The fingering would be the same. You've just tuned your instrument differently so you can then play in different keys. Again, if you were to tune your dulcimer, I don't recommend this. This is purely theory. To C tuning, it would be tuned C, G, C. Charlie, golf, Charlie. So if you were to tune your uke to uke, please excuse me, strumstick dulcimer to C, if you were in G, all your chords become in C, C, F and G, C, F and G. So that's, so that's how you can alter the tunings on dulcimers and enable you to play in other keys using the four chords you know. The four chords you need to know while I'm here in the key of G is golf, E minor, major, major. So golf, Charlie and Delta major, E will be a minor. In Delta, it's Delta, golf, alpha, B minor. This is the major scale, okay? So roughly the first, the fourth and the fifth and the octave are nearly always major, major. So in the key of C, it would be C, F, G and C would be major. In the key of golf, G, C, D, G would be major. In the key of D, delta, it'd be D, G, A, D, major. The second, the third and the sixth are nearly always minor. In the key of C, it is D, E and A would be minor. In the key of G, alpha, bravo and echo. In the key of D, it would be echo, foxtrot sharp and B minor. Okay, so that's how it works. The seventh chord is always a diminished, but don't worry too much about that. You won't come across them in many pop and rock songs. So as you can see, if you know a handful of chords, you can play most songs. To break this down even more, there's only limited chords you really need to know. If we were to take the 1950s, 60s ballad chord progression in the key of G, you will play G, E minor, Charlie, Delta. G, E minor, Charlie, Delta. And you play a bar of each, and that will give you a song, how can I put this, a song chord structure that I'm sure you will recognize from many songs. You play a bar of each, golf, del golf, Echo minor, Charlie, Delta. If you were to tune in D, it would be Delta, Bravo, Golf, Alpha. Delta, Bravo, Golf, Alpha. Bar of D, Bar of B minor, Bar of Golf, Bar of Alpha. And that will give you a sort of ballady progression. If you were doing country songs, I say old-fashioned country songs, you probably only need the first, the fourth, and the fifth. So in golf, it would be G, C, and D, all major. In D, D, Delta, Golf, Alpha. There's one more variation to this before we go, and this is the fifth note here. So, the sixth note, the second and the third are always minor. The first, the fourth, and the fifth and nearly always major. The fifth note is quite different. You can use this technique if you want. This will give you a bluesier, rockier sound if you want to look at it that way. Instead of playing in the key of G, instead of playing a D, you can play a D7. Instead of D, in the key of D, sorry, instead of alpha, you can play an A7. So the fifth note in the scale, whatever that is, they're all majors. You can either play a D major or a D7 in the key of D, alpha major or alpha 7. It's up to you. If you play a A chord in the key of D, it will sound more melodic, more for ballads and sweet songs. If you were to play an A7, it would sound bluesier, darker, grittier, whichever analogy you wish. And the same for golf. That D can become a D7 if you wish. Like I said previously, it will sound bluesier, grittier, darker. So, I hope this breaks down why we tune the dulcimer in different ways. Before we go though, please remember to subscribe to Blackpool Music School and give us a big thumbs up. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get, 
the more videos we will post. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.